crazy is many of y'all are playing Russian roulette with your life. More better yet, more so with your future. Like it's crazy because you keep on choosing people that's comfortable because I'm familiar with them because I know that their likes, I know their dislikes. Like I know something about them. And it's crazy because instead of taking a risk or better yet, choosing the better pick for your life, many of you, this is the damaging part. Many of you are choosing for right now and not the future. Let you know, man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me inspiring me but god is really using you to help me out family i want to welcome you to aos the podcast i'm your host mr aos inspires this is what i need you to do we're on every single platform tiktok instagram youtube facebook i need you to go and subscribe and follow us right now we drop content every single day Day that help you with your life because our mission here at AOS the podcast is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. I want you to live life on the next level. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that's watching this episode. This is going to be a dynamic episode. I need you to dive in. Do me a big favor. I need you to like share and comment. Don't be a stranger. I like comment with us. And this is what I need you also to do. I need you to copy this link right here on this podcast, this episode, and share it with at least 10 of your friends. I promise you it's going to help them out. Let's jump into the episode. What's going on, family? You guys are so amazed. I'm excited about this episode on today. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. You already see the thumbnail. You already see the title. Uh, many of y'all, I know y'all got in y'all feelings when y'all saw that because it's true. So many of you all, especially women, women do this nine times more than men, right? Uh, now, now I'm gonna tell you this. Let me, let me let me give you this backdrop. Men will do it from a perspective of smashing, right? More men will choose familiar women to be sexually active with, but women. And it's crazy if you really dissect it, like if you really look at the analytics, more women settle than men. Men usually, usually, I'm noticing, usually marry up or date up, right? While women settle. And and I truly believe the reason most women or many women settle because they feel like this is all that I can get. Like he treats me right. uh, He does me right. He's nice to me. He provides so I'm going to settle for this. Like this is, I'm, I'm cool with this life. And, and the crazy part about it is, ladies, too many of y'all, I'm, I'm going I'm to be all the way honest. Too many of y'all are way too fine. And of course, looks is not the whole gist of it. But many of you are way too fine, way too qualified, way too educated, have too much to bring to the table just to settle for a knucklehead. That's real. Many of you ladies that have all these attributes, all these qualities, all this value, right? And you lack confidence. That's what bothers me about my ladies. You lack the confidence. So you will settle for a guy because I'm familiar with him. I know about him. I know that he's going to do me right. I know that he's going to be faithful, you think. I know that he's going to be loyal to me, so you think. I know that he's going to provide a stable lifestyle for me. And that's true. Many women, too many women, too many women. This is why I tell people this all the time. Ladies, don't date a man or look for a man that can provide for you. Provide for yourself, right? Because when you provide for yourself, what the man brings to the table will be extra, right? I I need you to start. Listen, I need y'all to rejog your your thinking. I get it. Many of women have been taught, been raised by their dads. Find you a man that can take care of you. Oh, that's all cool and dandy, right? Right? That's cool until you get married to the man of your so-called dreams or you get married to the man that can take care of you and then y'all break up, y'all get a divorce. Now you're like, oh man, what am I going to do? Especially if you have kids. Now you're fishing like, yo, what am I going to do? Like how am I going to rebound from this? Because I'm so used and I was taught that I should get a man to take care of me. No, ladies, I'm changing the narrative right now. You find a man that's best suited, that doesn't compliment you, but compliments you, right? Ladies, you need a man that compliments every aspect of you, not just compliments you, telling you how beautiful you are, right? Not complimenting you, telling you I can take care of you. It's cool. That's fine. Ladies, take care of yourself. 
Because when you take care of yourself, you erase that element of a man feeling like he's coming to the rescue. So because it's crazy, because when you depend on a man to take care of you, he knows and he feels like he has the upper hand. Ladies, you give him too many men, too many broke, dirty guys, trifling guys, the upper hand. Ladies, you are way, many of you are in situations where you're way better than that. Like truth of the matter is, many of you are in relationships right now that you're like, yo, I know I can do better. I'm ready to leave, but I can't leave financially. I'm stuck. Or I have too many kids. I'm stuck. Or I, my credit is tore up. I'm stuck. Like It's sad, man. Many of you ladies are in predicaments that you can change right now. Right. And instead of changing it, you're getting and you're linking with somebody that you're so familiar with because I know him, because I know his family, because I was raised with him. Right. I grew up with him. I went to school with him. No, nah, I mean, that, that's, that sounds cool until you get in a situation where you guys guys have been dating for years or you get married. You've been married for years. I'm gonna give you a story. I know I got a story. Right. You've been married for years. And then all of a sudden it's like, ah, I thought that it was going to go a one. I thought it was going to go a certain way, but it's not going that way that I thought it was going to go. Now I'm done. I'm ready to throw in the towel. Uh, I'm ready to just say, just call it quits. And, and the crazy part about it is many of you are too deep into a relationship where you can't call it quits, where you can't just walk out the door, right? Like you got to stick it out. It's crazy because I, I met this woman this week. And I'm talking to her and I'm, I'm telling her about the podcast, you know, and she was intrigued by the podcast and, um, I, and I'm pretty sure she's probably watching the episode too. So I'm just, it is what it is, but she said she has a museum. So that's what, that's what the base of our foundation of our conversation was talking about. And I was considering having her on the podcast and I still may have her on the podcast. I don't know, but, um, I might not after this, cause then y'all gonna look at this video and then look at the video museum. Then you can put one and two together. Anyway, um, it's crazy because that was the foundation of like, I was like, yo, it's intriguing. I'm going to have her on the episode. I'm going to have her on the podcast. But then she began to open this door and begin to walk in. And this is what she said. She said that, and it was crazy. It was her birthday. And she said that she married her husband. Not because she loved him, not because she was in love with him, but she said she married him because she was familiar with him. Blew me away. When she said that, I was like, yo, I got to talk about that this week. Not so much of sp spilling her business out on the streets, but many, many women are dealing with men because they're so familiar with them. And that is the most dangerous place to be is to date somebody just because you're familiar with them. Now, it's crazy because she said th this is what she told me. Right. She said that she was so this is before, you know, her husband got back together or got together. Right. Um, she was single. Um, no kids, just her. And she said she was doing so bad. This is how this topic came up. We were, we were, um, I saw somebody and they were about to, they, they were holding a sign. We saw somebody and they were holding a sign asking for money, right? Homeless guy. And she was like, yo, what's crazy is I was almost in that same predicament. I said, say more. So she said she had just finished writing the sign. I need money. You know, whatever her sign said. She said she was just about to write. She wrote the sign. She's just about to get out her car, hold the sign on the corner. But she said that she went into the store and went to get some tea. She said she had a few dollars in her pocket. Right. But she was holding the sign because at this place that she was, she needed a place to stay. And she was staying with somebody renting a room for one hundred dollars a week. And she said she didn't have the hundred dollars. OK, cool. So she said she went in the store, bought some tea. And she said she saw this African guy follow her around. He was like, listen, I don't mean to be uh, disrespectful. I'm not trying to be creepy, but I find you highly attractive. Right. So this is what he did. He said, this is what I want. I would love to take you out just so we can get to know each other a little better. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I just want to take you out. So this is what he did. He took a hundred dollar bill, wrote his phone number on the hundred dollar bill and gave it to her. And it's crazy because guess how much she needed to pay the guy that she was staying with, the rent, the rent for the week for the room, $100, right? So she got the $100 and uh, she said she never called the guy, never called him. 
had his number, never called him. Uh, I guess life just began to stop life in and things begin to get better in her life. So then, you know, she got back with her husband. She got back, she got with, she met her, she met the, she got back with the guy, reconnected with the guy that she was familiar with and they got married. And, What's going know, on family? I know that you're enjoying the episode, but I had to pause to ask you a quick question. Have you ever been through anything in life that was so life altering that it changed your life forever? I mean, have you ever been and had a job and you lost that job? I mean, your dream job. You lost that job for whatever reason. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. You started a business and the business started off great and then it seemed as if it was going downhill. And now you're at a place, you lost your marriage, you lost your children, you lost some major things in your life. And now you're at a place in life where you're like, hey, this is the end of the road. I, I'm like, I don't see it getting better. I got news for you. It will get better. And I wrote a book just for you. It's entitled Winning After a Major Loss. You need to go and get your copy. Go to barnesandnoble.com. Go to amazon.com. Get your copy right now. Winning After a Major Loss. I promise you, it's going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change your mindset. Most importantly, it's going to change your heart about your situation. Because I promise you, you can win after a major loss, go get your copy now. Barnes and Nobles, Amazon.com. Order your copy now. Let's get back to the episode. The house, they live good, you know, somewhat, right? But her whole point of this story was I wish I would have seen what the outcome would have been had I dated the African guy. Now, I'm going to tell you this, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all kill me because I know hindsight is twenty twenty. You're in a relationship now. You're like, yo, I wish I would have did this. Yeah, you can say that now because the relationship that you're currently in may not be going as planned or may not be going good at all. So now you're like, I wish I would have, I wish I could have nothing. I'm I'm making this episode because I want all the ladies, all the fellas to stop making decisions <laughs> based upon the familiarity of this person that you're about to date or this person that you're about to build a relationship with or this person that you think that you're about to get to know better. Like that kills me every single time. I cannot stand it. I don't understand why people, and I get it. If there's a chemistry or there's something there that you really, really love about this person and you're like, listen, we got, we got something special. I get it. You build, you know, and you see where it goes. And if it goes where you want it to go, then you go there. I get it. But for those that are like, listen, um, I really don't know, but I'm familiar with this person. I don't want to try to figure somebody else new out. And that's the lazy side of dating. Many people, you get with somebody because I'm familiar with them. I know them. I know their ins and outs. And that's what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I know their ins and outs. So I'm going to get with them. That's a dangerous and trifling place to be. Because what's going to happen is you're familiar with them. And in the beginning, it's going to be cool. It's always cool in the beginning. But what happens is in the middle of the relationship, year five, year six, year seven, year eight, somewhere around there, she's at year nine. And she's like, yo, if I can do it all again, I'll do it all again. And I'm going to tell you what's crazy. I would say a big percentage, I'm not going to give a percentage, but I'm going to say a big percentage of marriages would say this. I would throw in the towel if it wasn't for two things, if it wasn't for children and if it wasn't for money. Many of y'all relationships, it's crazy because... I hate it when I hear couples say that. I like to say, find the reason why you fell in love with them and go back to that place. Go back to that place of why you fell in love with them and try to revisit that. Try to rekindle that. Because there's something that made you say yes to this person, but now since life is life in and life isn't going the way that you expected to go or life is not going the way that you planned it to go or how you envisioned it, or how he said it or how she said it, now you're ready to throw in the towel. I think that's a chump move. I think that's a cop out because it's easy to say, you know what? I'm done. Let me throw in the towel. Let me walk my way. You walk your way. It's easy to say that. But it takes a real, true champion to say, you know what? I picked you for a reason. Like, for real, I picked you for a reason. We're going to figure this thing out. Sink, swim, drink. I don't care. I don't care what kind of tribulations come our way. We are going to figure this thing out together. That's what I want to tell relationships, like good relationships. Just tell your person, I know life is life and I know things is not going the way we wanted to go, but we will figure 
this thing out together. I'm gone. What's going on, family? I want to say thank you for rocking with us during this episode. We have been so excited to drop this episode. I'm glad that you made it to the end. This is what I want you to do. If you have any takeaways from this episode, leave it in the comments. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear how you feel. I want to bring content to you that's relevant to you, that'll help you change your life because you already know our mission here at AOS Inspires, AOS the podcast, is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. This is what I need you to do. I need you to like, subscribe, share, share this episode. If it spoke to your life, share this episode with somebody. Why? Because you are connected to some people that we're not connected with. And with that connection together, we can empower the world to never give up. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS The Podcast. I can't wait to see you next week. Just in case you didn't know, we drop every single week, three times a week, Mondays, 8 a.m., Wednesdays, 8 a.m., and Fridays, 8 a.m. You need to catch an episode. Matter of fact, catch all three episodes. It's going to be fire. I promise you it's going to help you doing your everyday life. It's going to help you get to the next level. Let's go.